Hello all. Before we begin the video, let's discuss Cloud Foundation. Cloud Foundation is the premier online training platform to help individuals and organizations gain knowledge and skills in the ever-growing cloud computing industry. Here in this video we will know about Salesforce. Salesforce CRM is cloud-based. It manages consumer data, automates sales, and provides tailored service. It also offers marketing campaign, customer relationship, and data analysis capabilities. Many firms simplify client contact, sales, and marketing using Salesforce. Those viewers who want to learn more about Salesforce should definitely watch the entire video series. In this video series, we will be discussing the following. Overview User and user profiles Manage territories Security controls And finally do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and check out other videos related to the latest technologies on our Cloud Foundation channel. Contact us at India USA UK Sales at the rate cloudfoundation.com Let's get started. So I may want to give an overview. So this is the product where we have started and company name, which is like called as company name, which we are having uh, launching this product. So here with the details of that company and everything has been mentioned. So these are called as, as I said, like when you are checking for any company or anything, any firm or an organization, then that will be treated as account in Salesforce. We used to call account as in Salesforce. So then it is going with contact. Contacts means details of a person who starts for a company means nothing but you will be getting all the details of a person where these contacts will be the first communication where you can able to have that in a company that is like point of contact. We can tell that point of contact. I mean, as of now, in the marketing side where we are, so we have given our product means made people awareness of the product. Then after that, what we have done, you 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 said me that I mean, um, and I was not um, on that moment. I was not interested to buy that product. So I will be as a lead for you. That is name with my details. You will be getting all my information. There is name, contact number, and address, and everything will be handled here. So this goes with marketing. So I will be as a lead. It says that is a lead. So once the lead is done, then you will be having all the information of accounts and contacts. So accounts and contacts will be folded there, right? So with the leads, you will be getting an accounts and contacts. So we are having many things that where we need to understand with the probability here in Salesforce. That is probability means where we can able to achieve this lead or this business means achieve in the sense we are successfully getting this business means you are getting, getting a customer. So customer is me now. So what happens is when you get the customer, I will be accepting this product and buying this product. So what happens is the probability of buying a product is called as like you will be analyzing this lead options in lead that is called as lead stages. When the probability is closed one, we do have an option closed one. When that probability is closed one, it means that the probability of, of, that, pro, of that lead is 100%. If you are close to loss, the probability will be take considered as 0% because that is closed loss. So lost of that particular product. So I mean particular lead. So what happened is that lead stage will depend on how you are 
considering it we will be getting options in this so lead stage while when you are selecting this lead stage lead stage will have many options according to the business like new lead like we can able to have many things like negotiation quotation right closed one as i said like review closed one closed lost so like this we, we will be having many options based on that option you will be easily understanding what you are getting and what is the probability these are all the things that happens in salesforce that is in salesforce lead object lead object so coming to say what exactly the sales is so sales is where this is all about marketing and sales is where you are selling your product so here what happens is this will be reaching to the customer that is marketing and everything so same option when the lead is done so based on this option you will be getting the selling your product so once the product is sold the probability of this will be 100% that is closed one don't worry no confusions i will be uh, letting you know in coming classes so as of now just understand what is the concept that's it so marketing is this and selling nothing but sales what is sales module so sales for sales module is this like discounts we are giving a lot of discounts based on the accounts object we do have account object so many objects that are considered under sales but by default you will be having accounts contacts opportunity this will be by default and we do have many objects like this forecast reports and dashboards so these are all objects okay make sense can you understand what is that under selling you are selling that product so this will be sales module this will be sales module now going to the service i will be giving just a overview on this what exactly it is then we will be getting into this whole how we can able to have the differentiation what is marketing what is sales and services and again this is a overview for you and how you need to understand the terminology in sales what is what so lead account contact so then it comes with opportunity after opportunity will be having a full flow that is like order and order after order will be first before that you will be giving a quotation then quotation after quotation you will be getting an order after order you will be going to the invoice that is nothing but payments so invoice payments or shipping these are all the process of a sales force let's i mean sales this is the process of a sales where you are giving all the sales options on that particular product so are you getting me yeah this, this is the this is the same process which we follow right in uh, can you give me a best example in was like uh, after opportunity quote mm. any example where you can able to order your product and you are you are getting that product and the whole process goes in a cycle yeah, online shop. Shopping. yes online shopping exactly like exactly exactly flipkart amazon everything right because here what happens is you will be you will be treated as a customer right 
under yes. this you will be getting an, an amazon prime or something whenever you get an amazon you will be getting the details and this like your details will be stored under amazon so you will you will be as a contact if you are having any account number where it need requires then the account into the picture if not so they will be considering you as a contact only so you will be as a contact that is nothing but amazon customer so once you are a customer then what happens is you, you used to start your business like buying a product so when you start your business that is with a product as mentioned so you will be keeping on searching that particular product where it is useful for you yes you start searching on that particular product so once the product when you select that product what happens is you will be here you will not be having quotation option because quote is where this is called as quotation quote is where when if you are going for any uh, in um, in amazon or in flipkart you will be you will not be having any quotation option but when you check with uh, dell dell laptop dell laptops samsung laptops into that sites directly so there what happens is you will be getting a customer support number also where if you are going for any bulk bulk buying there you will be having an option quotation if you reach laptop dell laptop so they will be asking for what are the models which you are interested in and what are the details based on your details they will be preparing a quotation so they will be giving a quotation based on that quotation if your quotation if you are accepting that quotation once if you accept that quotation then what happens is it will be considered as an order once this order is considered then payments invoice comes into the picture nothing but payments so after payments the shipping process will be taken so this is the basic flow in a whole uh, sales force life cycle i mean sales life cycle first and in sales force many things can be considered according to the requirement so based on the business requirements anything can be happen like if you, because here order then invoice which is having a payments so in in invoice itself you will be getting pay billing and shipping addresses without that billing and shipping addresses you don't find any option like getting to where to deliver this particular product so these are all the things that need to be considered till here only this this will be done so okay so uh, what happens is this is a process of a online shopping where you can able to get all these details so after doing this this will be considered for your company say if you are having any company and you are working on that this will be considered in a selling process because you are the owner of the company it means you are the where you are you works as a selling product selling your product means you are the owner of the product so there you, what happens is you are giving or you will be considered with all the details these details will be having so here what happens is in the after bill payments and everything you can you will be getting a detail selling that what is the manufacturing warranties and guarantees warrant and guarantees so we can consider this warranty itself as of now because this is the exact terminology where right now it is in the um, commerce sites so warranty so what what is meant by warranty based on your product which is delivered and if you are having any issues on on that particular product in a stipulated duration time whatever product has mentioned so based on that in one year if if you are having any issues the product either the product will be replaced or new product will be replaced or new product will be given or refund of your amount will be taken taken care so based on that options which is given that will be considered completely under service module we used to call them as cases 
cases and solutions these are all and these are everything everything will be common in this accounts contacts opportunities will be till this will be common in all the modules based on the difference of your modules automatical system standard implementations will be changed here accounts contacts opportunities after opportunities you will be getting cases and solutions so this is the standard thing so this is these are all the difference about marketing sales service so now i will give like this i mean this is general one which 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 you want to understand okay so now i'm 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 able to sell my product i am a company owner okay just want to make sure i have launched my product and everything is successfully going on but one fine day when the company came up and we are doing all our best and everything is with the customer everything is fine but one customer came up telling that my product where my, i mean your product let me let i mean i mean to tell like your product which is your product yes so your product your product have some issues which is not affordable so it means that what will you do how will you consider this your product is not good i'm having lot of issues in your product so what will you do service point oh. correct service service okay so you will be giving service because where exactly it falls with that issue in the service uh, sector exactly because that is a warranties and guarantees cases right so there what happens is you will be telling him that okay if, it, if that is the issue then come back to the garage or any service point or whatever uh, we do have according to you you can able to reach out to the service point okay service point is done okay now he is telling that okay i don't want the product now uh, no i am not interested i am getting another another product so what will you do i will be going for a better product if this cost for 1 lakh 1 lakh the product is like uh, swapna e bike right so now you are launching swapna e bike 2.0 so this person tells that i don't want e bike now i want to go for e, e dot e bike 2.0 that is a new product so what will you do try to replace the product with giving uh, no replacing the old one and uh, like that means depends on your ideology whatever you gives an option to the customer okay if you are not interested okay you will be having many ways you can able to take that bike back and pay him first option second option if you want to improve your uh, products or if you want to improve your business so what do you do you will tell that okay uh, we will be replacing that product but you have to pay extra charges yes yes mm. because this is a new version so till now this is one version that is e bike that is 1.0 we are good and we are we will be replacing you for 2.0 so what will you do you will be telling that you want to you are going for new product and good 2.0 we are very happy to uh, uh, sell this product to you but so you will be going for extra payment yes so here the extra payment could be for that product it could be around how much you can put and okay can i put like this yes. okay so 1.75 this is the price of my product that is e bike 2.0 okay so then their bargains again so they will be coming up and getting all the details now i will be paying only this 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 that is like 1.5 or 1.7 so till that time what happens to this product where will be this product be will it comes again in the service or will it comes again in the uh, uh, where this product will be hold quickly sir. sales again no sir service 
Uh, hope you understood my question. Hmm. Quickly, I want I want some more answers, please. Uh, it will come to order sales only, I think. Because again, we have to pay the bill and all. So you mean to say um, you are uh, delivering new product to him. So you have to go for, again, the whole process? Not whole process. We, um, okay. So they sell half of the rate. That way. Exactly. The point is he already paid one lakh. Remember, he already paid one lakh for this product. Understood? Yes, he is paying again 75,000. 75, he need to pay 75,000. Okay? To more more clear, he is he wants to pay. I mean, let me let me take me. Okay. Divakar wants to purchase ebike 2.0 and now he wants to pay. 75,000. Okay? Make sense? Mm -hmm. So now, where exactly this pro product falls? Will it be under sales or will it be under service? Uh, I want everybody to answer this question. It's under sales. sales. Okay. Mm -hmm. Under sales. So you are, you are selling back mm -hmm. to the company. Back means resale process has been happened. Mm -hmm. Right? Resale means yes. they are taking. Who are taking? Sopna company, they will be taking that bike back. Clear? Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Yes. Right? So what happened now? So when they are fixing some amount, they will be telling that, boss, it is one lakh. And it's been almost two months you use that bike. Right? So one lakh we, could, we couldn't reduce. So what, what is the best amount I can give is for 98,000. Might be because this is a, a we are uh, typically business minds. So mm -hmm. I'm giving for 98,000. So rest amount you have to pay. Got it. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. added 2 lakhs, 2,000 again to this payment. Now it is done. So now my, my, my simple funda is you are, are you replacing this product? If you are replacing. So then can you able to generate a new invoice for this product? Yeah. New order, new invoice, new billing, everything will be new. Yes? Yes. So this is gone. Right? Will that be existed? No. Okay. So this, this product is gone and you are resale because you have taken it back. Yes. Right. So you have taken it back. So what happened is this bike is no more. But in the according to the list, that bike is no more. Understood? Yes. So now what you are doing is you are generating new invoice because the product is new. So now tell me what happened to the to this 98,000 then? How will you consider it? So, yeah, please. You'll mention it in invoice like reseller. Excellent. Super. That is the way. Because you are giving as a discount or resale, means whatever the terminology which you define in your company got it so it could be a resale or a discount you can able to put that to him i'm giving this at so and so price because i am having this as a discount or resale that's that depends on how the terminology you can you you take care of so all the details will be again replaced completely replaced and this will be a new product now so 2.0 will comes under orders, invoice, all these details will be again 
reissued means you are generating a new new process and again your product will be launched with all these services yes your manufacturing warranties guarantees will be given to that person so he will be extra he might be getting these two months because for this product you have gone two months and based on uh, courtesy sake you will be considering two more months understood so this is the way how the whole process goes because just want to uh, make sure that where this product comes under is it uh, marketing sales or services so this is what the marketing sales and service module comes so make sense so any questions in that no problem no. oh sure so so if you are having any questions and uh, the process like you will be understanding the whole process like what is difference between what exactly the different is on in between marketing sales and service so now service service is very much majorly used on warranties guarantees contracts and the whole details after will that be uh, done after selling a product right its warranties guarantees will be after selling a product yes yes okay, yes. okay. so that is a service okay now if i give a hospital if i take it <laughs> as a hospital so what is the service i mean will it will it will it apply here yes okay so yes. Uh, if you are giving such type of service then uh, any contracts warranties in a hospital can a hospital give you warranties guarantees uh, sometimes you know, if, if if this could be applied in all the things then uh, everybody will be going for warranties guarantees <laughs> no no not the the warranties and guarantees yeah they'll give some Urban discounts warranty. kind of thing if you take a good treatment uh, kind of or uh, like uh, for example like uh, so first of all like, hospitals comes under service first yes, yes. okay okay sounds good thanks so then mm -hmm. now tell me when you are telling that so will it be applied here yes sir here we can uh, yeah here also we can apply sir hmm. no uh, i didn't understand your question please no here we can also apply that one as a hospital so in hospital you will be giving warranties guarantees no no not as a warranty and guarantee service is a different the hospital okay uh, 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 uh. now i am getting you yeah yeah so uh, so what could be the things which you can able to understand in warranties and guarantees it's it it's like a, it's considered as a product no so when we when we consider as a product then it is now which is the product now what will you consider in this means swapna e bike is a product no we will we will put aside because uh, now a uh, swapna e bike is a different concept now we are in the hospital process okay 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 product now okay let me change then swapna hospitals patient sir patient product patient yes can i put the same things here yeah are you sure accounts contacts can i get same yes sir yes okay sounds good so then then so what happens then i will be adding accounts contacts then can i add this three this two yeah cases cases, cases solutions patients this is yeah this is correct then ward yes. ward ward okay so am i correct this is the same right yeah, yeah. right might be icu or general ward women's ward so right mm. okay yeah. okay mm. many things 
can i put this mm-hmm. because hospital has with without this nothing happens yes yes In the whole world <laughs> right yes then, yes sir with insurance insurance, insurance. okay yeah. okay okay as of now okay so now tell me because just want to make sure that what are difference between standard and customized here when i talk about bikes the standards we have used are same but when we are talking about hospital the standards and as well customizations changed yes but we are using same application yes make sense so here what happens is according to your business requirements system will support you the thing about salesforce will support you through customizations mm-hmm. are you getting me so standards are standards but according to your business requirements gain system will be changed so that is called as customization so according to the business requirements again i am repeating according to your business requirement system will be changed and that will be feasible where according to the business thoughts business scenarios business requirements business uh, how to improve your business into this and how you are molding your business into this application so these are all standard ones will be already existing in the system and you are using your new new thought new up uh, new uh, can able to put like new objects so these are all objects the new objects called as customized objects in salesforce layman words we used to call as custom objects custom objects whatever we are customizing according to the business they are considered as custom objects whatever the feasibility already it is defined by system they are called as standard objects uh, are you getting my point so mm-hmm. standard objects and custom objects so these are all differences so standard what is standard object and what is custom object and how you can able to customize with the same application also happens in salesforce that's why salesforce is ruling in the market that's why salesforce is having all this um i can able to give like um, capture the market so th- this is the main thing and accounts contacts these are all the things that are very much layman everybody can able to understand so so based on your understanding things in a layman words have been implemented in salesforce and even that depends on the trainer also <laughs> how he explains you <laughs> just kidding so so that is where you have to understand what are accounts what are contacts what are leads codes this again depends on your uh, uh, module so module wise you are having some module wise you are having standards Ma- module wise you will be having customizations also understood till now now i will put like this okay okay now going ahead in 2020 when i launched my product in 2020 when i launched my comp- i mean uh, when you launched your uh, swapna company yes sir right you were estimations were estimations make sense estimations mm-hmm. 2020 when you started your product you estimated you will be selling 1000 1000 bikes make sense Thousand mm-hmm. bikes, but it reached five hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay, five hundred sold. This is your expectation. Understood? Yes. Yes. 
now you will be thinking then okay 2020 it happened so how will you analyze now you are till in 2020 itself mm. you will be considered this as a 2020 december now you will be having a goal to reach when i expected this i couldn't get this on 2020 this is the parameter make sense this is the parameter so now at least i have to achieve the same product should be sold here on so and so year okay mm. now what happened is you got these many things mm -hmm. getting me yes on your expectation it is 1000 but you got orders for and sold your product okay okay 1000 so here what happened is you achieved your goal so then again you will be analyzing on 2021 on december you feel that you should have again some goals mm -hmm. based, based on how you can able to sell your product and your demand so now your expectations is this Okay. Are you getting me, guys? Yes, yes. Just want yes, to know. Yeah. So what happened is, so you are right now here. So now your expectation is this. So on, on, on again, where will you calculate and when will you calculate? It's again on December 2020. You will be calculating it. So here your process, your thought is 2000 products should be sold. And you already achieved it. You need some more products. Means you are having a demand of this. Make sense? Yeah. You is expected and estimated for 2000 products to be sold. But it reached 2100 products. So 100 products, your 100 products have been increased your production. Your business has been increased. So when you are calculating the same process on 2023, you will be thinking that your expectations will be reaching your goal. Yes. And you will be expecting a more, more process, more than like you will be reaching 5,000. So these are all things whichever depends and forecast happens. So the past data based on your past information past data you will be calculating your future mm -hmm. there your expectations you have to build it up mm -hmm. that shows your increase in your products increase in your growth increase in your company's growth so there you will be calculating on 2020, 2021, 2022 based on the data. You will analyze when 2023, I have to reach 5,000 products and my company should produce 5,000 products. These are all expectations. And when will it be calculated? Based on December. Where on which, which year? So this means based on a parameter on so and so particular year and so and so particular month, you will be calculating to reach your expectations. Understood? Yes, sir. This is the forecast. Forecasting your product. Got it? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I, I made you to understand. Right? Yes. Uh, that, 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 is, that is all about forecast. Okay, forecasting with some parameters. Forecasting is always depends on parameters, whatever you consider. So parameters are, parameters means the past information, already existed history. Based on that, you will be calculating. If you don't have any history, if you think that that is in 2020, you have calculated this and, and you want to get. So when you are starting, when you are starting your product, you don't know how much it will be sold. 
how many things it will be sold. So your expectation is 100. But the product reached 500. So your expectation has been grown. So when you are checking again for 1000 and it is 500 and your, your expectations has come down, means you are forecasted on December 2020, you have forecasted, you have to reach 1000. But the things are 500 you have already sold, but till you have to reach 500 more. But on that year, it reached 1000 again. Okay, and these are all forecasts. So based on your forecast of data, you will be calculating your product achievables goals. 